Hello, in this video I'd like to show you this street lantern I made. I created it using a combination of 3D printing, laser cutting and electronics and there's also some near pixels inside here which make it flash in a variety of different colours. So in this video I'd like to take you through the design of each of the different components and then I'll bring them together to show you the assembly. After that it'll be a matter of testing it and showing you what it looks like as a finished product. So to start off with let's go into the design of it. When I was on holiday, I saw this really cool lantern in the street, so I decided to take a picture of it, and when I got home, I made a model of it in Fusion 360, which is what you can see on the screen. Now all the parts here are designed to be 3D printed, so I exported them, and on my 3D printer at home, I created them. Now as you can see, the lantern actually has a load of holes in it, so rather than the light just shining through them, I created these little translucent acrylic windows which slot into the 3D print. And this means when the light shines, it's nicely diffused through these windows, giving it a realistic look. Now the minute is just some 3D prints floating in midair, which isn't very useful. So I created a laser cut stand to support it. Now when I first did this, honestly, I was a bit disappointed because it was just a plain piece of wood and it looked kind of rubbish. So I thought, well, why don't I add another layer of laser cut on top with some decorative patterns cut out of it? And this made it look much better and much more interesting. Now I don't have a laser cutter, so I went down to my local makerspace and used the one there. And as you can see, the results are pretty cool. There are some slight burn marks, but that's all right because it's all gonna be painted a little bit later on. The electronics are built around this ring of near pixels. Now I've never actually worked with near pixels before, but they were really simple to hook up and I just soldered them and they work pretty much straight away. I wired them up to an Arduino, so really just a simple prototype board which you can hear, see here, soldered that up, screwed them into some screw terminals and that's pretty much it. To test it I then put the neopixels inside the street lamp and as you can see they're very bright but the acrylic windows do a really good job of diffusing the light so it looks quite realistic. Okay so now you've seen how the 3D prints, electronics and laser cuts all work individually. Well now it's time to bring them together and to assemble the finished street lamp. So next up, I'm going to show you a load of snippets of all the different bits of building and assembly I did and how they fit together to create the finished product. Enjoy. Right, so there we go. I have just finished assembling the street lantern. Looking pretty cool, I think. So now it's time to see whether all the electronics have survived the assembly process and plug it in. So I have my laptop here. I'm just gonna plug it in via USB and hopefully we'll get some lights. Hey, oh yeah. Look at that. All right, so here I have my fully assembled street lamp and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. So let's have a little look. On the back, I have my circuitry, so the Arduino, which is cabled up to this, which spins round until it enters a little hole here. Now that actually comes out in the base of this arm and follows a groove all the way around until it meets the neopixel ring inside here. Now when those neopixels light up, they diffuse really nicely through this acrylic windowing I created, which I'm pretty pleased with because it gives a glowing effect, which I was really looking for. Now, I also carried over a little decorative or artistic uh, feature from the original picture I took, which was the inspiration for this street lamp, and that's this cross on the top. So that came from uh, the one I saw in the street and took a picture of. Now, it's not really necessary, but I think it's a nice little uh, artistic touch. 
I'm also pleased with how the swirling uh, came through because this originally was just going to be a boring uh, black piece of backboard but I decided to actually add the gold on the back and this creates this lovely contrast which I think stands out. So the nice thing about using a NeoPixel inside here or a, a ring of NeoPixels is that I have a lot of control over how they operate. So what I'd like to show you next is actually how I've programmed them in different ways to create some really interesting different visual effects. So let's crack on with that. Alright, here we have it, one finished Street Lantern project. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed designing and making this project, and I'm delighted with how it all turned out in the end. So if you'd like to ask any questions at all, please just feel free to ask in the comments. I'm always delighted to hear from you and to see what you think of the projects I've been doing. As ever, I will also write up a blog post, which I'll link below in the description, which will have everything so you can find out more. So stuff like the 3D print files, the code I've put on the Arduino and the circuit diagram, so you can really dive into that if you want to. So apart from that, that's pretty much me done. I'm delighted you stuck around and I will see you next time. Goodbye.